Welcome to the Windows Club. I am Karan and I'm here with an explanatory video to resolve the issue where your USB device keeps disconnecting and reconnecting in Windows 10. Now either the issue could be with the hardware itself or with the software. If it is with the hardware, try using the same USB device on a different computer. If it works fine, then there is no problem with the USB device. And the second option would be to change the port, the USB port that you are using to connect the USB device. If it still malfunctions after that, the problem could be with the device drivers. In this case, press Windows plus R to open the run window. Then type the command devmgmt.msc and click on OK to open the device manager. Scroll down to Universal Serial Bus Controller and locate the option which says USB Root Hub or USB Root Hub USB 3.0 or any other USB root hub that you use. Then right click on it and select uninstall device. After uninstalling it, restart the computer and it would reinstall the drivers once again. In case this doesn't work, right click on this option in the device manager once again and select properties. Go to the power management tab and uncheck the option associated with allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. Click on OK to save the settings and check if it helps. If neither of these solutions have helped, you could consider downloading the drivers from the manufacturer's website and installing them in compatibility mode. For example, I have an ASUS computer. Let me search online for ASUS drivers. Go, go to the download center and type the exact model name. In my case, it would be VivoBook X412 FA and here I find it in the list. I'll click on driver and utility and then I would select the exact model number and the operating system and click on download to download the drivers. I have already downloaded this set. To run the drivers in compatibility mode, I would right click on the driver file and select properties. Then in the compatibility tab, I would check this option for run this program in compatibility mode for and let's say I had a Windows 8 system, I would select the same and click on apply and then on OK and then I would run the graphic card drivers. Isn't it easy? If you still have any doubts, please let us know in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.